Hey, welcome back. And this is part two, talking about native Xcoli Draw features, looking at the basic shapes in Xcoli Draw. So let's just uh, get started and create a new empty drawing. And I'm just going to show you some of the uh, basic features here. So first of all, you have this uh, palette of different shapes. And if I choose a box, then I can draw a box. If I hit shift, then I get a square. The same with a circle. Uh, if I uh, just drag the circle, then I get all sorts of ellipses. If I hit shift, then I can draw a perfect circle. Uh, there's the um, lock button, which is quite helpful. So if there's a shape, and you want to draw more of those shapes, for example, you want a bunch of arrows, then if you hit lock, then you can actually uh, continue to draw the same shape multiple times. Also, uh, there's a trick that if you hit Alt uh, and click on an image, you can create a copy, and this also works for a complex shape. So if I have all of these selected and uh, hold down the Alt, key and then drag then with that uh, I can create um, a copy of these uh, selected items right now I have the grid turned on this is how my template looks but I can uh, come here and turn off the grid and if I don't have the grid then I can freely move the objects around if I have the grid then it will actually snap to the grid so you can see that it only stops at certain positions. Uh, there are some uh, colors here, so I can uh, first of all change uh, the uh, mode. This is now the dark mode. I can change to light mode and I can also change the background color. Uh, if I want a different background color, I can also just simply type in uh, colors and I'm going to get those uh, colors uh, like this but I can also put in um, the normal uh, RGB hexadecimal colors as well. Um, if I select the shape I can uh, change the stroke color as well as I can change the fill color for the shape and there are different fill effects that you can choose or different field patterns and so this is all quite uh, self-explanatory in terms of uh, lines and arrows um, there are some common features and that is that let me just put here a line as well that if i double click uh, on a shape either an arrow or a line then i can see these control points and if i hold down alt and click then i can actually add additional um, points uh, to uh, to my uh, shape and i can also um, change the edges so the edges can be uh, sharp or they can be round and the special feature of lines is that you can close them into a shape in which they in case they get filled the special feature of arrows is you can attach them to objects and if you attach them to objects then as you move the object uh, the arrow will move as well if you have an arrow uh, that has a breakpoint so let me put this breakpoint right here and let me just uh, attach uh, this part of the arrow here I'll move this uh, point to the middle then now if I move the object then you can see that the object is going to bend uh, at the breakpoint or if I make this uh, a sharp uh, edge then you can see that uh, it is going to uh, turn at that edge uh, sharp. Um, also, uh, Excolidraw offers uh, fonts. There are three font faces. So there's this uh, handwritten font uh, that looks like this. Uh, you can choose the font. You can uh, 
set the font size or you can choose uh, predefined uh, font sizes as well as you can do some text alignment uh, to uh, align the text uh, to the right or to the left this makes more sense when you have um, oops, when you have multiple uh, lines uh, of text and you can see here how uh, my uh, text is uh, adjusted to the right side uh, in this case. The other font types include the normal font and include the coding font type as well. So these are the three font types uh, you have. And that's about it, about the very basic features of Xcolidraw.